Send a stalker here for another video. I'm gonna do one today on one of my favorite companies, Code Red DVD and the Blu-ray they're doing now. They're an awesome company, a nice little indie label, a lot of cool, obscure movie sci-fi, spaghetti westerns, weird, obscure horror movies, all kinds of awesome stuff. You know, check them out, they're really, really great. I started getting into them about four years ago or so. And heck, now you can't buy their stuff in stores. Like, you used to be able to buy their movies in stores, but not anymore. If you go to their website to buy the movies that they now sell and offer. But yeah, it's, it's awesome because you still get them for a really good deal. And it's a lot better than, you know, paying for them on Amazon, which you can get them on there too. But sometimes the movies go for a lot more money. So I suggest go to down to the uh, Code, Red, Code Red website. Check them out. You can still get some cool movies for a really good price. Um, some of them are kind of high for the, for the limited quantity ones, but get them anyway because once they're gone, the price will go right through the roof. But uh, so if you get them now while you can, they're awesome. And if you order through them, you know Bill Olson, he's like the owner of the company, really really cool guy, you know, really quick, quick turnaround on, on their delivery of you know delivery movies like within a week or less. Like at least if you live in the states, it's like a really quick turnaround. So uh, totally check them out. They're awesome. Get down to the movies right now, shall we? Yeah. So what I'm gonna start off with from my Code Red collection will be this nice sleazy one right here. Girls in Chains. Check that out. Totally like, you know, this exploitation thing of these two brothers. They kidnap girls and put them in chains. You know, it's just like, this, it's like the title says right there. You know, the, the back of the cover. It's like this weird movie, these two, these two brothers. And uh, they get like, it's made in the 70s, you know, the kind of weird grindhousey thing. Uh, these guys, these two brothers, they um, go lure girls, they get them, kidnap them, and they have like their uh, so you know their, their mother lives there at the house too. She's kind of cuckoo. It's sort of like a it's kind it's a little bit like a psycho esque kind of thing. Um, quirky, good fun right here. Sleazy, awesome grindhouse stuff. If you like that, you know you'll like Girls in Chains. Um, they were abducted and violated. So uh, yeah. Check it out if you like this kind of weird shit. It's awesome. That was my very first, uh, one, one of my first Code Reds I picked up was this, Girls in Chains. Pretty cool. This one right here is a double feature of Cutthroats 9 and uh, Joshua with Fred Williamson right here. Cutthroats 9, though, is the reason why I really got this thing. This is gory. Check out that cover right there. Gory spaghetti western type movie of these, uh, you know, these uh, cowboy type guys are getting kind of um, transported you know, to like this uh, camp, and there's like these crazy murders that happen. They they take over the camp and kill people. But this is really over the top, you know, 70s gore western kind of thing. So if you like that kind of stuff, check out Cutthroats 9. And Joshua's pretty good too. Not bad. Cause, you know, can't go on with Fred Williamson. He's fucking kicks ass. One of my one of my favorite ones, Devil Times 5. With, uh, has Leif Garrett in this. You know, Leif Garrett from the 70s. He was like this pop idol kind of guy. He's in this thing. They, they play, so that's about these uh, kids, these mental institution kids. They're out there on like a little van and uh, getting transported to a hospital. And the van breaks down, falls, you know, falls off like a little cliff or something like that. And there's like five kids or so on this van. They escape. They're kind of crazy. They're all, they're all about like 10 years old to like 13 or so. They go to like this uh, log cabin in the middle of nowhere where, this, where, these, where a couple of families are staying at. They go there, the families think they're all innocent kids, but they're like little evil bastards. And they just start uh, knocking people off. So yeah, I mean, Double Times Five, check that out. Uh, it's a cool, quirky, fun movie. The funny thing about this is when you watch it, you'll see like Leif Garrett's in it, like I said. His hair was in it long, but like part of the movie, like they cut it, he had to cut his hair for like another gig. So he's wearing like a really crappy wig, like a cheesy wig, you can totally tell. But it makes it kind of fun and quirky because, you know, it's that 70s shit. You know, it's, it's kind of wacky and strange. But yeah, it's fun, it's fun stuff right here. Devil Times Five, you know. So I like about Code Red, they get these obscure, weird titles that, you know, they're awesome. You can't find this stuff anywhere. It's so damn cool. This movie, Soul Survivor. It's almost, it's like a uh, early... Final Destination movie, kind of like that. Before there was a Final Destination movie, it's like these uh, these weird events happen throughout the course of what these people do, and it makes things happen to them. Kind of like Final Destination, sort of like that. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's what it's kind of about. But you got that cool cover art with like the skull right there, like a sonar thing. You know, just just wicked, wicked, I don't know, awesome. A lot of good features on this thing. So it's a good movie. Check it out. It's fun. 
Um, it's totally, totally cool. Directed by the same guy that did Night of the Comet. He did this thing. So, I mean, you know, you know, you know you're in for a treat when it's like that, because Night of the Comet's awesome. The Unseen right here. Um, uh, it takes place in Solvang, California. It's like a Danish community up in, you know, California, kind of by Santa Barbara. Um, but this weird, like, like this, this house and like weird things happen there and not people are not really sure what's going on it has like a really strange ending. The ending of this movie is awesome it's a little bit slow but uh but it's good though it's kind of this creepy kind of strange movie it's nice a slow burn you know old school but it's good uh the ending of this movie makes up for the whole thing the ending is awesome it's just this weird you're like what the hell happened there like this was weird you have to check it out it's just freaking cool but yeah the unseen you know love that cover with like the hand coming out you know Totally wicked and cool. This one, Beyond the Door, just like a creepy exorcist type ripoff movie. We started doing those movies after the Exorcist, these possession movies. Great movie. Comes in an awesome slip case right here. I don't think Code Red did many of these slip cases. I'm not really sure. This is actually the. I think this is the very first one I bought from Code Red, and I got the uh, Girls and Chains one. Yeah, I think this is the very first one I bought at Amoeba Music, like, like a few years ago, four years ago. I bought this cool movie just a creepy movie of like this devil possession movie um there's a lot of weird imagery in it creepy a cool score just uh awesome movie check this one out there's like i think there's like three of these ones there's like beyond the door two and i think beyond the door three but this is the really this means the best one it's just, it's just creepy and and this is freaky I, I like it. it's really good I like exorcist type movies you want to find one kind of like that? I'll Check the this next out. one will be Messiah of Evil. It's like really strange movie. I like this albino guy. It's like this weird, sort of like a slasher thing in L.A. Just creepy, awesome stuff. Just a lot of cool... I can't remember so much of the story, but I remember like the imagery of it. But it's just awesome, awesome stuff. I remember it's really, really fucking cool. You know, Messiah of Evil. He says like he's like mice in it and stuff like that. Like the guy right here eats like like these mice and like or rats or something. Like that, puts them in his mouth and it says creepy lines in it. But yeah, I mean this is a weird, cool, the strange cult. It's like about a cult. So it's like this crazy movie, you know, awesome sigh of evil right here. Weekend murders. It's like a giallo movie, but it was made instead of Italy. It was made in England. It's just a strange. Jallo esque movie in in, in uh, England right here, cool mystery murder mystery kind of thing. It's fun, it's old school slow burn kind of stuff right there. Love that cover art. Here's the back with the, with, the, with the hand right there coming out from the dirt. You know, with like the like the friggin' house in the background. Weekend murders. You know, it just looks really cool. I like that. I only saw it a couple times, but it's good. Awesome stuff. Stunt rock. Awesome stuff right here, you know, it's like, check out that cool cover art, man. This one is wicked as shit. Buy this if you can. I think it's like 35 bucks now on their website. Um, pick it up, man. It's it's awesome. I mean, this thing is way cool. If you like cool 70s stuff, this, but this, is, this is like, this is like just about a guy. It's not a movie within a movie. It's like the stuntman, Grant Page, he does these crazy stunts in Australia. He's a real stuntman, too. He does them in this movie. It's directed by the guy. Uh, it's directed by Brian Trenchard Smith. He also did one of my also one of my favorites as a kid, BMX Bandits. That's a good one too with Nicole Kidman in there. He did this movie. It's, you know, it's freaking cool. It's, it's about a guy doing crazy stunts. He goes to Hollywood. He's like a stunt man, and they're making a documentary of him in the movie. And the movie is about that movie. So it's like one of those movies within a movie, but it's fun stuff. Cool music by this band called Sorcery Wizard Rock. In the movie, they have like this crazy band. They're doing like crazy, like you know, theatrics and stuff like that. It's just it's like this crazy, cool shit. If you like quirky, strange movies, check out Stunt Rock. I mean, the name alone sounds badass. Stunt Rock. I mean, check out the trailer on on YouTube, and you'll you'll dig it right away. It's, this thing is awesome. It's badass. I think you know you're, you're totally gonna love this. Here is the visitor, and I got mine autographed by the uh, you know awesome actor Lance Hendrickson. He's in this thing. Crazy. Italian movie, um, just a strange like uh, movie right here. A lot of cool visuals. I love that cover right there. Fucking awesome. About like um, this sort of like alien kind of thing comes to Earth. Like a, like a, it's sort of like an alien. It comes to Earth. It's like a little takes over like a little girl. The girl's like has like these special powers, and they're trying to stop her. These other like alien guys, they're, like disguised as like humans. They're like otherworldly people. 
They have like powers. And this is an awesome cast, good stuff in here. Just a crazy movie with cool music. It's uh, just, a, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's just, all the shit that goes on during the movie is, is awesome. Crazy effects. I think it was like made like early 80s. Uh, just fun shit, The Visitor. I mean, love that cover with the eyeball, like the string and the blood. And look at the cast, I think. Glenn Ford, Lance Henderson, John Huston, Sam Peckinpah's in this. Shelly Winters, just a cast of a cast of this thing. And it's just, you know, it's friggin' cool. I mean, check this out if you can. This one's a great one right here. Um, Horror High. It's, it's like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of thing in high school. Very quirky movie. Um, made in the mid 70s of like this nerdy guy he's like a really smart kid he makes a formula and he kind of transforms to like this beast and crazy things happen on the campus at his high school that's kind of what it is horror high <laughs> um, check that out cool cover out with the green you know just kind of trippy and stuff like that just fun stuff um, yeah it's just a hard to just watch this one it is awesome it's uh, Great fun shit. Night right child, you don't want to meet this chick. She's a wicked little kid right here. Kind of like a like a demon, like you know, like an omen type movie. Um, this one I, I kind of don't really like it. It's a little bit too slow, at least for my taste. But it, but it, it's got some cool moments in it. But it takes a long time for them to happen. But I love that cover right there. It's code red. I'm gonna love it anyway. You know, I'm glad I have it in my collection. Night child, there's that. I only saw it one time, so I really can't say much about it, but I remember it was kind of slow, but, you know, it's okay. Or crazy Italian movie, as, as the Italians do. Primal Rage right here, about, like, the... Just look at that, look at that cover. Isn't that thing wicked? There's the back. Love that cover art. Oh, man, with the guy's face all messed up right there. and Like the ape, like the, the gorilla thing, you know? Like the, I think it's like a, like a baboon. But it is like these, uh, it's like this college... And they're doing like experiments for like a medicine and things like that on these animals, different kinds of formulas. And so these one kids go in there to try to break some of the animals out. Some one of the guys gets bit and it's almost like a rabid rabies thing takes over and starts fucking up with the guys. But the people that it comes in contact with starts fucking them up and weird shit happens. Like they're just rabid, crazy people and crazy shit goes on. It's one of those kind of fun movies, you know, just a simple, fun, cool plot crazy shit you know uh, this you know primal rage it's, it's fun it's this cool crazy 80s awesomeness the people who own the dark uh, starring uh paul nashi spanish you know famed horror actor right here paul nashi and his friends like these family friends they go like to this house and they go on vacation over there and they're like up in the, the mountains or something like that but down, but down below there's like these crazy people they're all like blind and they're kind of wacky, and they get you in the night. They can, they can kind of sense you. Like, they have these crazy eyes, like these white eyes. And it's just kind of creepy, and they, they, they attack you in the night because they, they, they live in the dark. So it's just this crazy freaking colony of these people and within this house. They don't know it. They're all underground. Like, it's kind of like this, uh, in these uh, catacomb kind of things. And the crazy shit happens with an awesome ending, a really crazy ending to this real, really well acted movie. Good movie right here. It's a fun one right here. Fun, fun movie. Retribution. Check out that cool cover. Look at that thing. Check out the back. Bam, right there. Um, I was so happy when they put this out. I think they put it out like a couple, like a year ago, they put this out, Code Red. And it's just really, really fun, fun movie. Um, the girl right here, she's also, I believe, in Killer Clowns Matter Space, is the dude's, uh, that one girlfriend in the movie. She's in this thing. She's kind of cute, too. But anyway, um, really cool, cool stuff. I like this guy. Uh, tries to kill himself. Doesn't really succeed. But at the same time, someone else dies. And it kind of goes into his body. He's possessing crazy things happening. He's kind of who he is, but kind of not who he is. We don't know. It's kind of strange. But yeah, I mean, really cool movie. Great practical effects. Cool music. Just a fun, fun movie. Code Red did a really good job at the treatment of this movie. Looks, it's really, really cool. Rare. Um, just fun 80s stuff, right? If you like, you know, fun 80s possession movies, check out Retribution. It is really, really cool. Well worth the, you know, the money to buy this thing. It's freaking cool. Here is The Ghost Keeper. Really cool Canadian horror movie. Um, 
of like these uh, of this guy and these two girls. They go on jet skis up in the snow mountains and they kind of they, they go off the beaten path. They figured out oh, let's just go to this other weird route. Let's go explore and things like that. But uh, bad things happen when people do that in movies, especially in horror. You, know, you shouldn't do this. They stay on the main road, as they say, huh? Freaking jet, like a snowstorm happens. They gotta spend the night. They they find this abandoned like hotel middle of nowhere. They go in there, stay there, and then, like the next day, like this weird lady pops out. She's in this place, and like weird things happen. I don't know if they're ghostly things, real people. I have to watch it for yourself. But it's almost it kind of has like a shining vibe to it, yeah, cause it's like in the snow, creepy hotel, middle of nowhere, like isolation. Great movie. This movie is really, really good. Check it out. Pick it up. It is really good. Cool cover right there. Bam. Um, just a great um, slow burn style, but it picks up pretty quickly. Like you know, it starts to pick. It's not, it's not too slow. It picks up, you know. But it has a great payoff at the end right here. Trippy twist ending. Uh, kind of like isolation, or like movies like in like horror flicks and snow. Man, check this thing out. It's just, it's awesome. Stanley, this guy, it's sort of like that movie Ben, but with except instead of uh, rats, he uh, he befriends snakes. He talks to snakes. He puts bow ties on snakes. He's a crazy guy, like ex-Vietnam veteran, and don't want to fuck with his snakes because if you do, he will come and attack your ass. This guy and the snakes will too. But yeah, it's a cool, weird '70s movie. Um, of this guy and uh, people try to fuck with him and he says hell no and he gets revenge on him and the snakes do too so if you like kind of weird animal revenge movies and kind of movies like the you know like like the movie Ben you're gonna love Stanley it's, it's way cool the love butcher I love that title the love butcher look at that, look at that cool like, guy with the shades right there this is a fun movie man it's just a strange like horror suspense thriller kind of thing 70s has like really like tacky 70s clothes in it. It's like this guy's like a it's like it's like a schizo and he has like multiple personalities and he goes on this crazy rampage around the neighborhood. And uh, that's all I gotta say about that. I don't want to give it away too much, but that's kind of what it is. Just got the trailer for it. Uh, it's really really cool. The love butcher. You know, it's just just fun cool shit right here. This thing's just just fucking cool. I love that. I love that cover. It's like ooh, put the shades. Because Code Red starting to do some Blu-rays just recently, like this past um, like four months of doing Blu-rays now, along with the DVDs, so that's pretty neat, is they put out this hard-to-find one, Just Before Dawn, great early 80s slasher movie. It's uh, Brendan Mitchell's favorite movie, I think. Not really, no. But, um, but uh, yeah, check this out. It's directed by Jeff Lieberman. I remember me and Brendan and Jose, we saw this movie like five months ago in a theatrical release. And I had an autograph by him right there. You can see Jeff Lieberman's autograph right there. Kind of blends in with the with the whole design of it. So it looks, looks kind of it's kind of neat looking. But it's this great early '80s slasher movie. I think it's I think it was made late '70s, like '79 or, or something like that. I think it was right before Friday the 13th was made. So it's kind of this kind of controversy of like what was first Friday the 13th or this. It was around that time. At least that's what Jeff Lieberman was saying during the Q and A of this when we saw it in the theater. Uh, great movie. I like it. Slow, slow burn, but uh, but it's cool. It has a nice suspense to it. Um, a really crazy, weird payoff at the end of the movie. Um, you know, it's really awesome with the whole bam. But anyway, yeah, check this out right here. The, the last movie I ordered from Code Red was this one. Was Neon Maniacs. I'm so glad they put this thing out. This is like this is hard to find for a while. Got these uh, weird. Um, I think it was like 12 of these weird like demon things and they're like they're in San Francisco Bay Area and they come out and they start just uh, killing people and taking their bodies and doing all kinds of crazy shit crazy characters in this thing great music in this movie just you know 80s personified is in this movie look, look at the cover it's so 80s right there I love that great cover art fun movie pick this thing up from Code Red it's limited too so I would suggest pick this thing up while you can because if it, once it goes out of print, you know this stuff goes right. It gets expensive, like eighty bucks, a hundred bucks. All these Code Red titles, like the ones I have right here, a lot of those ones are kind of pricey now. But yeah, it's a great movie right here. Neon Maniacs. It's just you know fun '80s stuff, and that was the last one I got. I think it was like a month ago. They were, they had this, Nail Gun Massacre, and a couple other movies they put out on Blu-ray. And there's a few other ones they're putting out too, which I'm really psyched up about. They're doing um. Doing uh, 
the movie Nightmare on Blu-ray, which I can't wait. That's going to be really, really good. And doing some other stuff. Always check out their website. Yeah, check out Code Red. They're, they're a great company. But this is my Code Red you know, collection. I have about uh, 20 of them, I believe. They're just fun, fun stuff right here. You know, I love, love Code Red. They're just a great company. Like, cause they do a lot of kind of cool, obscure stuff. The stuff I like, those kind of unknown movies, those B movies, cult classics, unheard of obscurities. I love that stuff. You know, all those diamonds in the rough kind of movies. I love, I love finding that kind of stuff. And I'm glad Code Red is like, you know, they're doing really, they're doing okay now. They're doing good, putting stuff out there. Awesome stuff, guys. Code Red, you guys rule, man. But anyway, that's my little collection, and um, let me know what you guys think about that. And if you guys are into Code Red too, and if you guys are, let me know what kind of uh, Code Red titles you, you know, the kind of stuff you like, you know, and show off your collection and let me know what you guys think, you know, that'd be, that'd be kind of neat. And what kind of movies that you would like to see Code Red put out? Because I know they're doing another one in Pop the Mind, they're putting out is Slaughterhouse Rock. I cannot wait when that comes out. I think it comes out like in a month or two, so I cannot wait. That's gonna be really badass. That's gonna be the, one, that's gonna be the next one I'm gonna get from Code Red is Slaughterhouse Rock. But anyway, that's my video right there, little movie company, you know, review thing, whatever you want to call it, from my one of my personal favorite companies, Code Red. But if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can see what I'm up to, all kinds of things like that. And I'll catch you guys later next time. See ya.